In the face of an escalating climate crisis, the clarion call for sustainable urban development echoes louder with each passing day, as the bulk of the world's climate damage is caused by cities, solutions must be found in and by cities. At the heart of this colossal problem lies the radical re-envisaging of urban mobility. Despite the hyper-interconnection in the age of globalisation, cities often suffer from isolation. They struggle with accessing information, building relations, growing internal capacity, thereby thwarting their willingness and ability to bring about the sustainable transformation that the planet urgently needs. Urban cycling stands tall as a beacon of hope in the transportation realm and the climate crisis. It is a powerful solution to achieve sustainable, human-centric, healthy, community-friendly and economically vibrant urban environments. Cities need to work together in an organised, trusted and professionally facilitated environment that operates every day. This will help solve isolation and go beyond the sporadic networking and lobbying opportunities made possible by classic city networks. This is exactly the solution offered by the International Cycling Community of Practice, ICCOP an online platform conceived as a powerful catalyst to cultivate relations, dialogue, professional growth, peer collaboration and expert support. The result is that cities' working teams are no longer confined to their local knowledge. They can expand and fully embrace what colleagues around the world can offer. The ICCOP addresses a market that can potentially encompass the entire spectrum of world cities. While that goal is unattainable at this stage, the ICCOP confidently looks at an audience of several hundred cities, having already garnered formal support from several influential city network organisations like Polis, ICLEI, Eurocities, ECF, EIT Urban Mobility, the World Bank and NACTO. Although originating in Europe, the ICCOP can expand into North and South America, Africa and Asia, depending on the level of funding secured. The ICCOP does not face direct competition, for communities of practice for cities in the fashion we propose do not exist. However, there are manifold ways in which cities address their problems today. The ranking of alternatives includes 1. Joining city networks at a regional, national or international level. 2. Piecemeal or sporadic outsourcing of tasks to consultants, universities, service product suppliers. 3. Proactively network and seek for actionable knowledge online or at on-site conferences. The ICCOP does what all other alternatives available to cities by nature cannot do. 1 overcomes isolation, providing direct, peer-to-peer, -peer, unmediated possibilities for networking and cooperation. 2. Fosters growth of professional capacity, facilitating access to state-of-art, actionable knowledge and processes of participatory learning. 3. Works online and on-site. 4. Operates on a daily basis, avoiding on and off dynamics. 5 provides all these services free of charge to cities. Owing to this unique value proposition, the ICTOP is regarded by city networks as a welcome ally rather than as a competitor, so much so that we already have received their formal support. We will reach the market by initially leveraging the vast pool of member cities of the networks that have already pledged to support the ICTOP. The network's operating staff will facilitate the onboarding process. In the scale-up phase, we will test additional regional segments, expanding into North and South America and subsequently Asia, Africa and Oceania. Our leadership team. Isinova's Mario Gualdi is our director. Lucas Harms, until recently managing director of the Dutch Cycling Embassy, is our outreach coordinator. Meredith Glazer of the Urban Cycling Institute is our scientific coordinator. Pascal Vandenort of Velo Mondial is our city's chief facilitator. 
and Antonio de Baccio completes the team for communication. Your financial patronage is the keystone that will turbocharge ICCOP's global outreach. We aim to kick off with 150 early adopter cities and 350,000 euros raised funds for year one. We aim to gradually grow by welcoming 100 cities annually and increasing the raised funds by 100,000 euro each year. The ICCOP is a non-profit association. As such, Funds will be used exclusively to support the work of the leadership and operational team, acquire, manage and constantly improve the digital facility, organise and deliver online and on-site events.